Hello and welcome to another edition of Cell Reviews on Statistic TV. I am here to review Mick Mill's latest project, Championships. It's been causing a lot of storms, so let's just get right into it. But before we do, make sure you subscribe onto our YouTube channel for more content. We are we have got um, album reviews to do onto the channel, and also make sure you make sure you follow me on Instagram. This is where I get to post, uh, recommend more albums that may not have my weekly review, which I do every Wednesday. Um, at 6 p.m. I will release a new video every Wednesday at 6 p.m. and not every album I get to review all right it's, it's just one album a week that I, that I choose to say yeah listen to this one there's a lot of great albums out there and I put them daily onto my Instagram so make sure you follow that Instagram the, the details should be on your screen as we speak now getting into the album the, let's provide a, a, a little bit of context Mick Mew has been going through a lot uh, aside from losing to Drake in in, in that in that uh, in that beef where McMill himself revealed that Drake has a ghostwriter. I just wanna know if you ain't read that running through the six shit. Tell us who the folks quit running through the six with. And they had beef tracks back to back, which he emphatically lost. He's had a lot of trouble with it with the law because he's been on probation now for around ten years. Aside from that, like this is this this is a problem that that's been stemming since he was 18, and when he got charged, saying that he he was holding up a gun to the police officer. Uh, now he was jailed for this, but he was he was released on parole just a couple of months later, uh, and the judge said to him that he want he, that she did it in order for him to pursue his, his music career. Now now of course he has done that and he's become a success but he has been returning back to prison uh, uh, quite a, quite a number of times i believe it was seven times and he's decided now to fight the system and become an activist which is very admirable for a, for, a, for a man of his stature to use his platform for something so positive which is to reform the prison system that a lot of uh, african americans and hispanics have been sent to prison on uh, like sometimes really unlawfully and he's now put it into his music to bring it into the forefront into the media that this is not okay that this is actually going on when i used to sit in jail cells i used to see like freshman cover i used to get like hurt it used to hurt me being in a jail cell seeing some young guys on the cover knowing that i was supposed to be here and i think that was just the energy that i was giving out the story aspect of this album is what I was really impressed about with Mick Mill. Compared to his previous works, like he released Wins and Losses, which didn't do that great in my opinion. But aside aside from the from the from, from the Dream Chasers mix series that he was doing, he hasn't really performed as much as he should have after the hype around Dream Dream Chasers. So for this album to actually come out like he brought fire in this album like i'm not not i like this is this is the one album that i would say meek really matured in his sounds he's not just talking about the club stuff he's also talking about like i said he brought his life into it and it really really impressed how he was able to paint such a vivid picture in like i would say what's the track was free done this as well like um he was able to really really bring that question of like are we really free from from slavery i love the imagery that this created um in the sense that he compared this to child slavery where they were losing uh where in child slavery that the the, um, the black and hispanic family were losing their families onto the slave owners and they were sub subjugated to work at for free really um and he's brought this and paralleled it to the prison system of today where he has actually thrown out there that organizations are making 11 cents from their giving that's how much the prisoners are getting paid an hour to work for these bigger organizations they're not printing just printing license plates they're making shoes and all of that for these big corporations and for for me to reveal something as heavy as this in this album and to do it in the way he's done it in to also bring like the likes of jay-z and rick ross on the same track on what's free um to also illustrate their 
their views, especially with uh, Jay Z's views on um, with Jay Z's views on how the media tends to treat black artists, putting them against each other, etc. When he was comparing himself to Ye, a lot of people thought he was beefing Ye, but he wasn't. He was just saying that they are trying to put them against each other, and they're not going to do that. And this was a great recipe for a great album and that's why i gave it a seven out of eight uh, a 7.2 sorry out of eight this was like i said it was a great recipe and there was not this wasn't the only tracks there were a lot more tracks um i'm only using this as an example but i don't want to spoil the album for you you should go listen to it because the, sp- the story and the content in this album is very very rich the lyrical content i have to give it a six out of seven simply because of the fact that again his skill is the energy that he brought into each and individual tracks was <laughs> it, it, it was vintage meek it was the dream chasers meek like he was focused he knew what he wanted to say and the it, his delivery was really on point on this album i could not fault it um even though he brought a lot of features that some may argue that they're better than meek in every way but he still held his own down i really admired that i really admired the fact that um the fact that meek had had, had, had also matured lyrically as well in terms of the skill he w- he was also able to bring a lot more aspects a lot more flows into in, into his game now man when you when we think about meek mill yeah you're in a position now man where everybody is is kind of looking at not not just at you but yeah. we looking towards and and there's more than just mm-hmm. the music when it comes from meek now the yeah. flow and style this is the only criticism that i have of meek uh, aside from the great story aside mm-hmm. from the great lyrical display he was very messy like he didn't treat this as an album he treated it as as, as a mixtape and i can uh, i can understand because he comes from a mixtape background however you need to take albums very very seriously i gave it a 2.7 and that's being very kind like um simply because of the fact that there was no flow there was no continuity there was a lot of conscious songs that was followed by club songs that was followed by conscious songs that was followed by club songs and it was just really up and down i didn't and there was and to make matters worse he would throw in an r&b song right after the club right after the conscious songs that which i was it, it was very like he didn't take his time to arrange it as you were supposed to do with an album and this really frustrated me because when you want to for someone this really frustrated me because if you have a message this good if you have a message that you want to bring out like this you do you you could arrange it in a way that that message can still be heard and retained and you can still do the other side you know talk about the women talk about clubbing talk about love on except like you can arrange it so that it flows better there was no flow to his album there was no continuity all you had was an intro and an outro that was the only flow in this that's the only criticism i have for this album and because of that i really lost a lot of interest in listening again i i would only listen again to listen to individual tracks this is not a good mark for an album in my opinion like just for you to go back and listen to some tracks not all the tracks for for an album to work in my opinion you need every track to be heard and the overall story of the album what you're trying to go for has to go full circle in my opinion he could have done it in a way where it does stuff with conscious and then you could have a, 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 an intermission even if it's something as simple as an interlude where it, it can go off into a club this this work could have been so much better it really really better in the sense that in the sense that had he just taken the time to really arrange his tracks properly, he would have. <laughs> hey, Mick, what do you have hanging over you right now? As far as like, are not jail. are you nervous of anything? Yeah, like, what do you have hanging over you? Jail, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's <laughs> he like, was like jail. It would have been a worthwhile album and a stellar album. Could have done it in a two a two sided edition where you have the club and the club turning upside and the conscious side. There could have been so many ways he could have arranged this, but he really missed the mark here. For the instrumentation, I have to give it a 3.2. Yes, there was too much sampling. I get it. I didn't. I again. I know it's coming from from a mixtape background. However, 
there was nothing original that was from me um the beats were banging though i'm not gonna lie this is why i i, I see you, but it was just average at best i'm not gonna go much into detail about it because there's not really anything that stands out instrumentally that i could say oh wow he actually done something the only thing i would compare this to is the other songs that i've heard that is the other albums that i've heard that's actually conscious and this is fonte's uh no news is good news album it's the same kind of concept uh, in in a sense that he's bringing awareness to the fact that there is nothing good I have to tell you, but I'm gonna try and offer you solutions. I reviewed the album on on, on the channel. You can go check it out. The link is in the, is in the description, and also it should be popping up now. But the point I'm making is for Meek Mill to make an album like this, he would have been benefited if he'd done something similar. Not have to go in Fonte style of delivering his message how but at the very least you know bringing the album full circle bringing all the themes that he explored and putting them all and arranging it in a way that it makes sense not not just make one track and throw it in there make another track and throw it in there i was really disappointed with this and yeah like there's no for me i don't think i'll be listening again to the album but however individual tracks that really, really stuck out i'll be like yeah i'll take that and playlist it. i'll take this and playlist it that's about it the other tracks it, like it's not gonna it, it's lost its value to me because of the way that he arranged it um overall i gave this a 19.1 out of 25 which is what it scores added up to and it was a 75.6 percent it's an it's a good it, it it's an is the rating that it deserves because like i said if you're taking more time in arranging it and i i kind of get it as well because of the fact that he said that he recorded it in about yeah nine months to record it so i can see i i can actually see how rushed it is really and truly when it, when when you examine it i can see how rushed it is like because he he's obviously got the probation on on, on on one side and he's also got jail on the other side and all that and he's trying to get all this done and out in such a quick time hey Mick, what do you have hanging over you right now jail you know what i'm saying it's, it's <laughs> he like, was like jail that he may not have had time to sit down and, and really plan this out i understand that and i sympathize however it doesn't take away the fact that it does have detrimental effects to the message that you're trying to portray to the audience and say listen to this however it's gonna be jumbled up and you're gonna to have to structure it for me basically <laughs> um if i was given if i if i if i was given a chance to arrange this album um i would do it in a way that is is conscious gonna be in the middle it, it, like it, 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 that, that that as you listen on you you'll be hooked in and then the, the conscious stuff will be in the middle and it smooths out into r and I'm gonna post up. I'm gonna post my preferred track list onto my onto my website tso.com, and then you can go check out how I think you should listen to the to the album. If you love the content that's been provided and you found value from it, don't forget to like. And also, if you want to see more content and also um, become become part of this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press that bell notification button. Um, button and see you on the next review peace